Hi, this is Michaelia. Um, a lot of you guys may know me as Mickey or other people who don't know me. My name is Michaelia, and I just want to share my story, my testimony in regards to the purity movement, um, just to help somebody else out so that they don't make the same mistake that I made when I was a little bit younger, not too long ago. Um, but I just want to start off my story by really encouraging people in regards to their self-esteem because I think a lot of my problems started because of my self-esteem because I didn't really like myself I didn't think that I was worthy so I tried to seek approval through other people particularly through guys so there was a time mostly in my college years that I just I was backsliding I was doing what I wanted to do I just really and I knew it was wrong because I grew up in the church I've been a Christian since I was probably maybe six, seven, I'm not even sure, for a very long time. So it's not like this is my BC days. I was a Christian. I just didn't feel loved, didn't feel attractive. People used to call me ugly when I was little. I used to get picked on. People would say, oh, everything looked good but her face. And so I felt so bad, and I just wanted to be liked or loved and to get attention. So, of course, I turned to guys, and um, I don't have to say everything that I did, but clearly this is a purity movement so I wasn't acting very pure at the time and I just want to let young people know that you will not find your fulfillment in guys because even after the fact I felt even worse I felt even uglier dirtier felt like God wouldn't accept me God wouldn't want to you know bring me back in I just felt like I wasn't worthy at all because they'll come they'll act nice they'll act like they care about you that they love you once they get what they want then they're out and then you feel even worse it's just not even really worth it so for anybody I would tell you just to wait it's not worth it because in the end you feel so much worse you feel like you've been used you feel like you're not special and you wait until when you finally have someone that God has brought to you who truly loves you and cares about you and they're willing to wait until you say I do and you realize how special you are and that you are the apple of God's eye and that you're the apple of that guy's eye as well and that they do care about you and it's just worth it to just wait so my my testimony and my thing to tell anybody is just wait it's not worth it believe me it's just it's something that you should do for your own self because your self-esteem is going to drop. You're not going to feel worthy. You might, you know, at that initial time when you're with that person, when they're trying to, you know, tell you all the right things. But afterwards, you're going to realize, shouldn't have did this. I regret it. Don't make those mistakes. There are things that I regret. And even though I know God can make me whole and has made me whole, I wish I didn't have to go through those things. And that's why I tell you this so that mm -hmm. you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. So definitely stay pure. You know, listen to the word because the word says that we don't need to be having sex with other people, with, with people. So just stay true to the word and stay true to yourself and listen to God because he's not punishing you when he says that you, he doesn't want you to do that. It's for your own good. Trust me, it's for your own good. It's not worth it. Um, so that's about it. And hopefully that helps somebody.